Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we're going to be playing another standard deck, uh, stuck in quarantine, so in uh, social distancing, so we got a lot of time to play Magic this weekend. Um, so this is a different take on Mono Red. Uh, this is kind of more of an ode to the old style of Mono Red, which was more burn focused. So I'm calling this one Heartfire Red. Uh, so it's uh, kind of mocked up off one of the MTGO 5.0 lists. Um, a couple of lists have shown up with Heartfire in it. Um, so the biggest difference with this one here is we're not going the Annex plan and Ember cleaving out our opponent. Instead, what we're doing is we have 12 one drops, Fervent Champion, Grim Initiate, Scorch Spitter. Uh, then we have the Steamkin to generate adv card advantage. Uh, we have Phoenix of Ash, which could keep coming back from the graveyard. And really what we have otherwise is just a ton of burn. We have Shock, Heartfire, where you can sacrifice a creature or Planeswalker and deal four damage to any target. Grim Initiate uh, of note counts as two creatures. Um, then we have Light Up the Stage to get us more card advantage. Skewer the Critics, which with Spectacle can deal three damage. And then Slaying Fire, which is a four mana burn spell. Sorry, a three mana, four damage burn spell. And then we still have some Castle Embraths. Um, so the one thing we want to see here compared to the other mono red deck, um, we could answer their creatures better, um, but do we want something uh, like Bone Crusher Giant in this list? Do we want uh, some number of Annex? Uh, is, I, I could agree with not having Ember Cleave because our creatures are generally pretty small, but these are all things we want to see as we play out the deck. Uh, sideboard wise, we have Red Cap Melee versus the red decks. Uh, Embreath, Shieldbreaker to destroy like Clovers or uh, Ovens, some Lava Coils, Tybalt to turn off Life Gain, you can also sack the tokens or Tybalt itself, Frenzy versus the longer matches, and I don't know why they have two extra lands. Sign up to 23 I guess if you bring in the Frenzies. I think you can get away with 22. Yeah, I'm gonna go like that. I think we're okay like that. So we'll play it out like that, see if we find. Generally, like with um, whatchamacallit, the light up the stages and stuff, you're usually pretty good. I may also want just the Frenzy's main. So let's play a match, see how it goes, and then decidingly if we want to move Frenzy's main. Um, we are going more of a throw spells at our opponent run out of our hand so we may want those in there we'll see how it goes so we've been stuck at pl uh plat three to four uh we've been going about 500 with a lot of decks keep this hands fine so really just want another land to kind of go off our one drops so four of our one drops sorry our one drops do have first strike, two four ofs of our one drops. Oh, that's the first strike. So just play this out. So if we can dodge like stomp this turn, it'd be pretty good. Looks like a stomp just based on them targeting. Um, so I'm going to attack first. We'll light up the stage. Try to hit a land. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have skewered the critics there. I thought we had an extra land. Interesting. They go Steamkin. Well. I mean, we're gonna attack ya, and then I'm gonna skewer it. So the matchup versus Mono Red's interesting because us featuring more burn and being a little lower to the ground may be advantageous. So these pump up each other, and the nice thing too is with this having first strike, 
We're going to get in the damage anyways, even if they have a shock here. Yeah, they do have shock. They should have done that before. So we get the amass token. And since this is going away this turn, we'll skewer this to take it off the battlefield. If we draw a land... I think we blow up the annex here. Just keeping it off the board. Arena's been really glitchy today. Keeps locking up my computer. So we've kind of stumbled on lands. We'd really like to hit them. Was hoping that light up the stage worked as planned. They just got Bone Crusher here. And if they have Ember Cleave, we're in trouble. So they can attack with Bone Crusher this turn. It's likely Ember Cleave, and then we're dead. So at this point, we're too far behind. So Ember Cleave is the mirror breaker here, it seems. So let's go Red Cat Malise in, Embress, Lava Coils. I think I'm actually going to shift my package up a bit. Tibbold's probably too many. Um, the skewers seem... I feel like Heartfire is not that good in this matchup, to be honest. Shocks are good, Lava Coils. I think I'm also going to get rid of the Steamkins. They're too easy to interact with. Phoenix are good because they're recursive. Maybe we don't play Tybalt. Shave down a Slaying Fire. And... Just do two Frenzies. Just a ton more interaction here. See how it goes. Keep this probably a little bit more lands than I'd want, but last game proved can't do much if you're stuck on two. Okay, so first strike showdown. I don't feel great about these like using a slaying fire on like a one drop also even just having something like castle embreath would be decent probably getting stomped here Ooh, scorching dragon fires disgusting versus us So they have Robber. Probably willing to take another attack here. They can Ember Cleave this turn, which maybe is incentive to not. So at least that means no Ember Cleave. Grimish initiates decent. The 
question here is do we take up like we might just go face these dragon fires have been in pain So, so far the consensus is this deck's been a lot worse than the standard mono red. I think we just take this. Gonna probably take Bone Crusher off the battlefield. We do take two points of damage. Like, even just something like Bone Crusher would be a lot better in this. Yeah, we're dead. Like, we can draw Frenzy, but from our stance, we're pretty dejected. I want to tweak this deck list a bit. I'm not crazy about how it is right now. The Dragon Fires, or the... These are just really awkward. The slaying fires, those should definitely be bone crusher. That already feels much better. Also, I think three heart fires where we want to be. And I'm going to play one frenzy main. Run it like that, sideboard, we could cut a frenzy. I think we just want maybe the full probably scorching dragon fire. Or um what's the one drop red claim of the firstborn? Run it like that. See if this works out better. Want to see if we can get any better results with this one here. Sounds already a lot better. Because the thing is, Bone Crusher as well gives us another body to Heartfire. Alright, Frenzy's a nice draw. Depending what they play out, I can Shock and Skewer this turn. I think we just hold up the Bone Crusher. Yeah, I think we do Bone Crusher this turn. I gain three life with Uro. Because I could Phoenix next turn. So the reason I'm keeping this exiled is when we drop Frenzy down, this is something I could cast out of exile. Might be seeing a Nisa here. Cavalier. So I'm going to have to use a lot of resources here and then they're going to get
They're gonna get back Uro. So they can get back Uro anyways. I think we just chip in damage where we can. They get Uro back. And then save these burn spells. They're gonna gain three life with Uro, but if I can do some chip damage in maybe. Drop Frenzy and try to win that way. This matchup also feels pretty rough. And again, this is just going back to not having Embercleave. Yeah, we lost this one. I'm not going to beat Anissa, Cavalier in. Interesting, they went voracious there. Uh, so I'm gonna go claims, lava coils. Are lava coils even good? Let's add in a bunch of stuff and then. Why doesn't it let you switch the view anymore? There we go. Um, skewer feels pretty bad. Claims to take like their Uro. I don't even know if that's worth it to be honest. Might get rid of the shocks as well. Keep a shock. Go like that. Let's try that out. I haven't been crazy about this deck, to be honest. Overall, seems kind of underwhelming. Keep this hand, put away Phoenix. So I'm opting to go Scorch Spitter on one, because this could come down later with Haste. So if they don't have, okay, they disfigure there. So pretty much anything's good now. Ideally, probably just a land to start getting Frenzy off. Go face here. Cool. So I get him to tap out there. So we don't get this fervent this turn. See what they have there. They brought in a lot more removal. Uro comes in. Hopefully chain some spells together now. It's kind of annoying. Playing 21 lands in our deck. Actually, Blast Zone's kind of troublesome too. So I'm really excited to get Nisa here. Man, today's run has been really bad with these. This 
means that Uro is potentially a thing. Like, I doubt they bring in casualties against us. Typically, when I was playing this deck, you don't play casualties. I apologize. Arena crashed again, and I'm just not paying attention. It's been a bad set. So we have Frenzy coming down next turn. We know at least the next card after that's a land. They time walked us back. I didn't get the Fervents down where I could have pumped and then I could have killed Nisa. Arena's been super, super glitchy paired with some punts all around. I'm just not delighted with this set. In retrospect, probably should have kept these back and then just activated. And just pass the turn. Nothing to do here. And still try to burn them out. They're gonna get arrows down. Ah, I'm just gonna concede this. Very unlikely we come back on that one. I'll give this deck one more shot. This felt the worst, I think, out of any of the mono red decks that I've played. Like, at least Cavalcade, you get some just free wins from just Cavalcade being down. Like, you can attack through. But there, we're stuck in a situation where we can't attack, can't block uh, profitably. And just overall, like, you lose to the other aggressive decks because they're going to go slightly bigger. The other mono red decks just playing a little bit bigger on curve, and you have Ember Cleaves to kind of combo kill your opponent. Uh, like we don't do anything for the first few turns. Okay, sounds better. I'm gonna put a line back actually. Like if we had a one drop in that first hand, I probably would have kept. So depending on what the opponent plays out, okay, they got Grim Initiate. So I think what we do here, just play out like this. Don't think I really want to trade here. If we draw another land, I can take the Grim Initiate off. So this is Cavalcade, and they're going to beat us because of the direct damage coming through. So I think what we do... Fallout attack, and they have a shock. And these have been like the draws we've had all day. They get to take this out now. So we did that turn not knowing they had the shock. We would have been in a little bit better spot had they not had it. This 
probably light up the stage, so I'm willing to do the trade here. I think it's important now. Take that off. Or one of Frenzy would be really nice here. Just really get us back into the game. Phoenix of Ash. Yeah, they're going land there. Okay, Phoenix isn't bad. If Phoenix dies, we get it back. We have enough in the graveyard. Could potentially race them here, we'll see. This version seems more cavalcade, just with all the one drops. So, got nothing better to do. We'll activate the ability. I'm looking forward to being stomped. We can draw another creature. Probably just activate here. So they're hitting us for five a turn. If we draw another land, we activate it twice. And they had skewer. Okay. The thing too is this slows us down from an activation turn. I think it's right to still just swing in, try to deal as much damage as possible. So they have two activations of this. That's three, six, seven. So if they have a haste creature, we're dead. If they have a burn spell, we're dead. Yep. The knights pump each other. So in this particular version, I do like the Tybalt more. I'm gonna get rid of these skewers. I don't think they're particularly good in this matchup. I also don't love Heartfire. I think we want to play more like that. I also don't think I want the Steamkins. I think we just play like this. Take it from there. this. So I'm going to lead with the Grim Initiate. It leaves something when it comes down. Next turn I could Red Cat Malee their one drop. I guess we could have attacked with Fervent as well. Um, so here, let's just attack in. They have the option to trade with something. So that's actually pretty good because they don't get our Tybalt out of it. And then whatever their follow-up is we have the red cat melee for it. Claim of the firstborn. So it's actually kind of cool here is if I block here 
this damage goes and it can kill this. And then Steamkin will be killed. Phoenix is a nice one too, lets us pump our extra mana. So I'm gonna wait. See what they do in terms of trying to get this bigger. Okay, they go full price skewer. only the second card in our graveyard so even just drawing like another Tybalt's not bad um just take the damage here Okay, so I could Phoenix back this turn. But I think we do it next turn because this plays around uh, Lava Coil. Actually, let's light up the stage. Let's us go wider this turn. Sweet. We have two answers for their turn. So, just use this anyways. It's a use it or lose it situation. Nice, because we can do both. Cast the Phoenix. So I'm going to hold this back just because I'd rather it not die right now because it can multi-trade. Like it can block die and then shoot something else. We have the shock still available for whatever they drop this turn, then I could untap and anthem the team. Sweet. Alright, the deck did something. Um I think we run it back. Like they had claims, but claims seems kinda lackluster. I think we just run it back like this. Cause we're not like the annex variant. I'm not as, yeah, we're gonna keep this. Um, I don't think I wanna bring this out yet. I'm just gonna shock. Rather just take the damage here. Because next turn I could Scorch Spitter and. You know what? They don't get value this way. So they basically lost out a turn of using their mana efficiently. Um, they probably have a shock. I think we just play this out. Okay, so I 
So Red Cat Melee does some damage to them. We're in a pretty good state. We have four removal spells in hand. And our deck seems to be playing slightly bigger, so that usually wins the mirrors. So I'm just going to shock this. Sure. Pay three mana to kill my 1-1. One, one. Okay, so I was hoping to keep a threat on the board. A phoenix would be really nice right now. So they probably have removal, but it just draws us deeper into our deck. feel like we're both at the point where our hands are like 80% removal. Okay, well, nothing they play is going to live. That was actually sweet because both these leave behind a creature. Okay, well, better dragon fire that than like one of my phoenixes. I'm gonna take the two points of damage here and then I'm gonna lava coil it. And this might get them to target their own thing with removal. So I could Bone Crusher whatever they play this turn, untap Bone Crusher back down. You got it, buddy. They've used two red caps, two skewers, and a dragon fire. So I'm going to go Bone Crusher here just because on the way down, these can catch it the next time. Uh, they can cast it a couple times now. Activate this, just get in an extra point of damage. So hopefully we can keep this out of their graveyard or off the battlefield long enough. Four, three. We do have another lava coil that we can use. Sweet. Our own Phoenix is nice here. Steal a bunch of damage. Should have this one wrapped up. If their turns just get back this Phoenix. Eight percent chance of That's fine. We still got Fervents that could come out. 8% um, of another Phoenix. Tybalt's pretty nice. And Experimental Frenzy. That's fine. This might be a light up the stage. Seems pretty lackluster in this smeller. Oh, they go heart fire. Okay, so they disassembled our board. So this looks like another heart fire variant. 
All right, well, third of our deck's lions. 12 left in there. We got two more answers to this phoenix. And they're at three. They need to keep this back. Okay, well, Fervent Knight kills them. Sweet. Activate. Oh, actually, it doesn't kill them. One short. I was thinking if we had two Fervents. If they just attack with the Phoenix. Um, let's force this out of them. Fervent's decent, Shock kills them, we have one Shock in the deck, Scorch Spitter just from attacking, Bone Crusher kills them, Light Up the Stage brings us gas. Sure. That does bring enough for Phoenix to come back, but they do need to go defensive with the Phoenix. Oh, they just go Skewer. Sure. If we lose this one, I'm going to be really upset. They hit their frenzy. <laughs> oh, if we lose this one, this will be the epitome. Just bring back the Phoenix, hit us for a bunch. So on the board right now, that can kill them. Just attack them with Phoenix, be safe. One. You don't do it. But I'm going to force you to trade. So our own Phoenix does it. They light up the stage. Lion lions. They're better off playing the lion. So they had three lions on top. Tybalt doesn't do it at this point. Bone Crusher, Shock wins. Phoenix wins. Frenzy should help us get into a win. I'm gonna lose this game. Fuck. What a stupid game. How do you draw nothing? How in my 21 land deck? Ah. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna wrap this one up. This is uh, some peak magic. Have a great one, everyone. Stay safe.